Oops, forgot to unmute. <laughs> All right, so yeah, yes, we are right here, freaking at the Freakers Ball live on RealLibertyMedia.com, as we do every Friday night. So welcome to everybody out there listening in on the various places that you may be tuned in from, uh, whether whether that would be right here on RealLibertyMedia.com over there on Vaughn Live slash Real Liberty Media, or if you're on the audio stream, you could be anywhere. Yeah, uh, pretty much anywhere out there, and uh, we where where we go to everywhere. RLMRadio.xyz, FreedomsNetwork.com, RealLiberty.org, Internet Radio, TuneIn.com. Oh, just just a, a whole bunch of places. But uh, the main thing is right over here on RealLibertyMedia.com in the chat room that we have there. It's actually an IRC channel, but people like to call it a chat room, so I'll go with that. Anyway, welcome to everybody out there. And, uh, no, Justin TV be dead, Beth Z. Um, anyway, <laughs> yeah, Justin TV is a goner. All right, uh, but anyway, so hi, hi and howdy to all the folks here in the uh, chat room this evening. Uh, like Mr. Barman and myself, the Mighty Moose Girl, Miss Kate and, and Don Carroll, D.C., uh, as uh, Mo and Chalcedonian, and Gramsci and... Meester Meister Brow in Pondergander and Rain and Rob Works. Pass around that bubble. Good man, pass around that bubble. We got Mr. Rome's, a.k.a. Trust No One. Uh, we got Vanna White. Uh, we got uh, v Vanna White. Yeah, she's here. Yeah, she's out there spinning the letters for us. Yeah. We got Vin E. We got uh, Anti, a.k.a. W4DKV. We got the Weather Dork Bot. We got Miss Z. Miss Z. And the Phantom and Anti himself, so he's in there twice. We got Mr. Beetle B, Circle in uh, Colfax and Cyborg Noodle in Dakota and Frumpy and Grummet and Java Doctor and JJ's nine 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 uh, JJ's Kozu the Pone Sauce Sock Puppet Tech Man and the Uno Bot Uno. It's a game apparently. It's a game of of sorts, some kind of card game. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but apparently it's the game that some people like to play. Uh, anyway, uh, Moose Girl will be uh, calling in momentarily, I hope. She's there in the chat, so I, I'd imagine she's uh, doing whatever she's doing to get tuned in. Or what? Tuned in? Uh, t tuned in, turned on, and dropped out. Yeah, it's the Mighty Moose. Um, <laughs> all right. So she'll be calling in on the wire here any any short time from now. I, I never played Uno, Rob Works, no. Uh, I, I, I've heard of it, but I have never actually partaken. But now we have with us here, in a moment, in a moment, tick, click, 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 tick. There she is. <laughs> moose. Moose, moose. Moose, 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 moose. I heard, I heard some noises coming from the side, but now I don't hear them. Where'd you go? Hello, hello, hello. Speak, moose. I'm not hearing you. For whatever reason, I can't hear the moose. All right. I, I heard, I heard some noises when we first connected, but uh, I'm not hearing it now. So, uh, yeah. Okay, um, Moose, if, uh, what I heard, I, I'm hearing noises, like, like it's there, but you're not talking back to me. Now. So, uh, wait, now I hear me. I'm, I hear me talking to me. <laughs> Come on, Moose, what's going on? All right, tell you what, I'm going to, I think this worked before, I'm going to hang up. And I'm gonna call you back. All right, we we hung up on her. Oh no! But yeah, we're calling her back. So <laughs> yeah, she's back on her old computer because her new one crapped out. Sadly, but surely it did, and it is now connecting to her. And do I hear you now? I don't hear you now. No moose. Where you at? You got your headset unmuted or 
plugged in or whatever the hell. I, I, I don't know. I'm a waiting. I'm a waiting. So, um, okay. Well, um, I guess Moose will be with us. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, but she's, um, she's, um, working on her computer, I guess. I, 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 I don't know. I, uh, well, <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> well, she's, uh, she's trying to contact us. Push the button. Push the button. Uh, all right, Moose. Um, well, I'm, I'm hearing some noises, so it's like you're there. I mean, there, there's some stuff, but I'm not hearing any actual voice, but I hear some, like, I don't know, alien sounds or something. Moose has been duck abducted by an alien. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wait. Okay, she is calling again. And this time I'm not hearing her. Hello? Wait, where'd you go? She was there, and now I don't see her. Huh. Okay, let me try again. I, I, I... All right, we're, we're, we're trying. One, we're trying one more time here, and, and we'll see what happens. Hello. Oh, it's still ringing. Okay, come on, Moose, pick up the phone. All right, she looks like she's picking up. Hello? Hello, 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 hello? Moose girl? Moose girl? Where are you? I'm not hearing you. Huh. All right. It says we changed the settings for the new machine, so now these settings on this machine are not right. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Um, I'm going to play some music, <laughs> and I will uh, try and team view in the Moose's machine if she's hearing this. Uh, go ahead and open your team viewer, and I'll see if we can figure something out. Um, uh, because, because, yeah, and we'll do that during the set here. So, um, uh, let me get the right camera. Right here. Okay. All right, so uh, this last week, uh, Mr. Dick Dale of uh, Dick Dale and the Dale Tones, the king of the surf music, passed away. Uh, and um, so we're going to play a song for him because uh, we love Dick Dale. Well, I do anyway. I love surf music in general. And, and uh, we, you know, without Dick Dale, uh, you know, Gary Hoey wouldn't be who he is. And the Ramones, the, the Ramones would not have been the Ramones. So, anyway, this is uh, uh, his most famous track, probably. Enjoy. <laughs> Alright, that was John Nemeth, feeling freaky. Yeah, right here on the Freaker's Ball, feeling freaky. Before that, we had The Doors, an L.A. woman. A new uh, release from Monroe's Retro, even though it's a 1971 track there. Yes, indeed. So, uh, that came out a couple days ago from Monroe's Retro. And we kicked it off with Dick Dale and the Deltones doing Miserloo from back in 1963. And Moose Girl? Are you there? Are you there? Let me go back over to your machine and see if I can see ya. Um, okay, I see you got that thing up. Where? How come? I'm not seeing your wire. Your wire. Let's go back to your wire. Let's go back to your settings. Are you talking? Um, alright, speak. Let's see if we can see what you're seeing. Is this the right headset? Is that the right headset? Alright. <laughs> All right, I'm watching Moose Navigator around her machine right now. See if I can see what the hell's going on there. She lost her uh, IRC there. 
I can hear me, so I should be able to hear you if you got the right headset picked. So go back in here. Go back in here. Whoa, what happened there? All right. Uh, she's doing something on her machine. I don't know what it is. Let's go back to your. Uh, let's go back to your wire. Make sure we can see you. Is this the right headset? Okay. If you talk, we should see some, see some bars here. Don't worry about the webcam crap. But if you're not, if, if is this the one? Let's pick a different one. I don't know. Fucking, fucking, fucking. Hey, 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 fuck. there you are. There you are. Go back to that one you just had, where you were fucking. Fucking, 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 fucking. Okay, that's good. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, Moose. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Well, you know, uh, anyway, it's working, right? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I can hear you, so I assume, I assume it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> right. Well, I wasn't going to be sitting there going, check, 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 check. Yeah, you weren't? No, I wasn't going to go check, 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 check. Not at this point. At this point, I'm at fucking, 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 fucking. All right, well, we, all right, that's fine. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's fucking believable. Well, it happens, you know. It's it's. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm sick of it happening. This is why I got a new computer. I, I understand. This machine blows ass. So now though I get a new computer, right? Oh, yeah. great, wonderful, just awesome. <laughs> Yay! Uh, I know, Moose, it sucks, but, but you know... We have it for fucking one month, and it shits. Yeah. Takes a shit. Man, I know. Really? I Are know. you kidding me? Apparently now not. Now I'm Moose Girl 2 in here. Fuck me. <laughs> you didn't have to leave. You could just change I hate and... this goddamn fucking machine. All right, all right, all right. I do. I, I know. I, this I is know. Why I it, got rid of this machine. It's it's it. Well, we don't we don't deal with the FCC. Uh, F the FCC. No, we don't care about them. <laughs> Matter of fact, I don't. I don't give a shit about them. No, I really don't. I, 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 I don't, don't either. I don't either. <laughs> they can blow it out their fucking pie hole. I don't even care. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Yeah. No, it's fine. It's cool. Uh, you know, computer not set up. You know, it was set up. I mean, we we changed the settings. I think that's what I don't know what happened. Yeah, yeah. I have no idea. Something happened, but whatever it is, I don't know. Yeah, it's just it, it, it's me. I am cursed when it comes to electronics. There is no doubt about it now in my fucking mind at all. <laughs> I am fucking cursed when it comes to fucking electronics. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm I... cursed, dude. No, it's it's a fact, dude. I it's get it. it. It is. It's. It, it's. I'm fucking cursed. Okay. Even my phone, my cell phone. It's fucking. It's stupid. It's just like really. It's like you gotta be fucking kidding me. I don't think I'm supposed to have electronics actually. Well, you know, you'd be. You'd be. I don't think I'm supposed to. I really and tires. <laughs> yep, Rob. You know, tires and electronics. Just not my. I just I suck in both areas, you know. I mean, it's bad luck or something. I don't know. Or something. It's or something. I think is is the deal. Yeah, I, you know, it's the universe or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's a full moon. That could have something to do with that, it. That could be. It's a full we, moon we, for we, four days, people. <sighs> you guys don't think it is? Look at the lunar calendar. You'll no, see we, it's actually full, full for four days straight. We we always experience weird stuff on full moons here. We do, and we get weird ass calls at work and everything. And and uh, yeah. No, I'm doing good. Don't be jinxing me now, Rob. <laughs> Don't be jinxing my small engines now. My snowblower was a trooper this winter, so yeah. don't be don't be yeah. I you know I had good luck with that. And right. so you know you might have just jinxed my lawnmower. Thanks a lot, dude. Yeah, nice going, Rob. I don't need any help in this area, Rob. I don't. I don't need any help from other people 
jinxing me. No, trust me. I do. It happens enough on its own. I don't need help with in that area. Yeah. Oh, I do not. <laughs> so anyway, besides that, I got these Pirellis in on eleven thirteen of seventeen. Correct. All right. Eleven thirteen seventeen. On this Ford Edge, all wheel drive vehicle, right? Yeah. Fifty-five. I think they were fifty-five to sixty thousand mile rated tires. Am I, am I coming out of your speakers over there? Yeah, you're coming out of my speakers. Sorry. Right. You're not in my headset. Do you want me to change it? Well, otherwise I keep hearing myself come back. Yeah. No, I can turn my speakers down or my headset down. Did that help? Yeah, I guess I'll find out. No, I'm still right, here. Well, I still hear me. So if you could just okay, switch, on. switch it to your to your headset rather than the speakers and. In the in the wire? Yeah, in the wire. That'd, be, that'd be good. Well, hit my speakers into my headset. Uh, yeah. Okay. Th- th- yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, good. All, All right, right, thanks. Sorry. No I problem. forgot I have to do that. Yeah. Touch <laughs> that. Okay. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you got the Pirellis two years ago. Okay. Well, not even two years ago. Eleven thirteen of seventeen. All right, a year and five four months ago. Yes, and so they're but they're shit now. Well, because well, I'm going tomorrow to get four new tires. Now, then, didn't they come with a warranty of some kind? Well, that's what I'm thinking. So I call the people at Ford quickly or whatever the hell where I got them. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Well, I'll have to contact the manufacturer and see if they'll do anything about it. So I told Zach, I said, yesterday when we go get them tires changed out, we're bringing all them four bad tires back home with us. Right. I need proof of them that them tires are shit. Well, then they'll probably they just try to... Shit. They went to shit. They'll okay. probably just try to give you four new tires then. Right. But I don't think they will. I think the guy said, oh, they give you a percentage off of another one of their products. It's like they don't just go, oh, here's four new tires. Oh. You know, I don't know how it works. Well, I know but, they're prorated, but uh, but it should be new tires. But. Right, exactly. Because really, if they were rated to fifty five or sixty thousand, and we only got twenty twenty three thousand miles out of them, right. that's ridiculous. It is, it is ridiculous. Even if the car is in a line, total right. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean it depends two on how. Two of them were worse than the other two, though. Apparently. Yeah. So something is fucked up with that. With the probably with the alignment or something. Probably, probably the boys are out off roading and something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> right, like I haven't been driving that vehicle for two years. Yeah. So anyway, um, taking it there tomorrow to affordable tire, six seventy five for four new tires. They're gonna inspect it. They're gonna try to figure out what's causing that. Them tires to wear down too fast. Yeah. And the guy's like, it could be anything. He's like, it could be a hub assembly. It could be a wheel bearings going bad. It could be, you know, bad alignment. You right, know well, what I mean? They'll figure it out. They, you know. Yeah, they'll. These guys are good. That they'll know what's wrong with it. Cool. So hopefully, but they can't do the alignment tomorrow, but they can next week during the week. All right. Well. So, because I said to the guy, I go, well, how, you know, I'm getting new tires. I'm like, should I get the, you know, everyone's saying get the alignment after you get the tires. Well, yeah, but you want to do it soon. You don't want to wait. Right, right. Yeah, long... it should be done in, in very close. Right. Know, close to each other, so. Right. Yeah. So, anyway, I've been dealing with that, and it's just been like, because the car is nine years old, so it really needs to be babied. Yeah. But I've been do, trying to do my best to baby it, you know what I mean? Right. And get it maintained or whatever. Yeah. And tires is actually, I think they said it's like the first important thing on your vehicle, safety fact, safety thing. Well, it's more than safety, too. I mean, your gasoline mileage it, is right. really fucked up. And it's what keeps your car on the road. Yeah. Or tires. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're pretty much needed. <laughs> yeah, I mean you got. I mean you got to have good ones too, especially in Wisconsin. Oh, like I always boy. get all season tires. My tires are always more expensive because I get the all season because I don't want to change them out between winter and summer. Yeah. So what are you getting tomorrow? Um, he told me the brand name, Toyo, I think. Oh, okay. Well, they're all right. 
They're okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, and then, uh, but there, see, the problem with, not the problem, but the, they're more expensive on the edge because there's 20 inch rims as opposed to 18. Right. For some reason, they put 20 inch rims on that vehicle. Yeah. And that makes the tires more expensive because it's a bigger tire you got to get. Yeah, no, that, but that's fine. Uh, you know, whatever. You can... Right. So anyway, the one tire that was that was unfixable that went flat, it went flat from the outside. It was wearing out from the ins, not from the outside, from the inside. It was wearing out. That's, That's what the a, mechanic said at the shop yesterday. That's a weird one. Yeah, so that means it's probably something mechanical with the vehicle that's causing that tire to, those tires to wear down faster. Right. Yeah, so, all right. You learn well. all kinds of stuff when you deal with vehicle issues, you know. I mean, I've been dealing with vehicles for a while, and you, you just learn as you go. And the best thing you can do for me, someone like me is to know people that know how to work on cars and know people and find a good buy, a good shop where you can trust the, the mechanics there. Sure. That's the best thing you can do. If it, Because I the one thing I hate is going to dealerships. Dealerships suck because they have a they just don't think outside the box. They have a set of set amount of prices that they have and you, they always want to push more onto you. You'll bring your car in there for a brake job and they'll be like, "Oh, you need this, this and this and that." You know what I mean? Yeah, and they'll try I, I would, to get you to um, I, I would never go to a dealer for anything that wasn't under warranty. Right, exactly. If you have a warranty, it's okay to go to the dealership because it's under warranty. But as soon as your car is not under warranty anymore, you should not go to a dealership. You should go anywhere else, you know? Someone you can trust, someone that you that you feel are, is being honest with you. Sure, sure. You know, because, like, even Zach brought the car to the Menominee shop yesterday, and we had gone there before. And he's like, oh, yeah, those guys are really cool there, Mom. They're really chill. I'm like, yeah. He's like, you get the feeling they're just being straight up with you. I'm like, yep, that's why, that's why I like that place, you know? Great, great. No, that, that sounds perfect. Right. <laughs> so it's just like, you know how it goes. I mean, you don't know because you don't really do a lot of driving. No, but, uh, well, not now, but, I mean, I used to drive all, all the time, so. Right, so you don't have, but you don't have to get as much maintenance done on your vehicles. Like you don't have to replace tires as often as I do. No, I certainly do because not. Because you you don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, but uh, it's like the Edge is still a good vehicle, so it's worth it to fix it. You know what I mean? Even if it is nine years old, you know. Yeah. It's worth it to have it running right because if as soon as you that's how vehicles go bad. As soon as you start just ignoring problems, that's when they're going to break down on you. They're going to fucking, you know what I mean? Right. You have to take care of them, especially when they're a little bit older. And that's what a lot of people don't do. And so their vehicles go to shit, right? Yeah, and it, it's not the age so much as it is the miles. Exactly, right. So, and, right. And, and also the conditions. I mean, you know, you're driving through that rough weather all the time. It's, it's Right. Good, it's I mean, happen. surprisingly, for... For its age, the body of the edge is it's great. It's in great condition. Yeah. So the body of it's awesome. Yeah. The interior is great. Still. Right. A little right. bit of Zach's like spilled pop in there and shit a little bit, but Yeah, whatever. Other than that, it's pretty good <laughs> still. Right. So well anyway, so you'll get new tires, you'll get a new computer. Yay. I get to get up early in the morning to go do that too. Yeah, Yay. party. All right. But but you'll get that taken care of. That'll be fine. You'll get a new computer, and that'll be fine. Eventually. What? Eventually. What do you mean I'm eventually? Gonna you gonna wait? Well, I I I I think I'm gonna. I don't know what to do yet. I don't know if I should buy a, a pre-made system or just build my own. Well, it uh, all depends on what you're looking for. So a lot of people are saying it's better and cheaper to build your own well, because it, in those systems, the parts you get they're like stamped out parts. They're not the best parts. Well, you know what I mean? it all depends. It all depends where you're buying it from. But, um, right. I, I mean, it's not like uh, a lot of, they're not making their own components. They're buying them from somebody. Right, exactly. And putting them together and selling them to you as, as a package. But, uh, right. as so far what as, I'm saying is when you, 
Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. As far as being cheaper, that's not generally the case in my in my personal experience because it depends what components you put in it. Right. And if you put in nice components that are going to perform well, mm-hmm. you probably wind up spending a little more, actually. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, if that's the case, then I just I'll look at the systems that are out there. And this weekend on Newegg, I will never purchase a computer from Amazon again ever. Well, you can't. Um, you can't. They, a- Amazon didn't actually build that. And, right. No, they did <laughs> not. In Amazon's defense, they are not the ones that built the computer. And they, they weren't. E- they weren't even the seller. They were just the, the truly, marketplace. They were not the seller even, even though it was on their site. Correct. Right. Yeah. And like Rob's pointing out, you can get cheaper systems with cheaper components, but you're going to have less of a computer. Right. So, right. But, uh, exactly. We Which I don't up, want. We, I want, you know. We we picked out a, yeah, yeah, Dell is very nice, too. Dell, Grim linked to Dell to me the other day. Yeah. Anyway, so, but I mean, you can go directly to Dell.com and, and look at their, they have, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. They, got, they got pretty good deals on there. Oh, some, okay. Some, yeah, sometimes. Let's check it out. Sometimes. <laughs> right. I mean, you have to, you know, you got to shop around for sure. And, and then you can come on here and say, dude, I got a Dell. Dell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. Anyway, oh, my God. It's just been a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. So. So, but, um. No, I don't know fries. I mean, I, I'm sure they're good, but Newegg, I've never had a problem with Newegg. Ever. Yeah, I, I used to go to fries all the time when I was in San Diego. We had, a couple, Del, we had Del two, two fries down there. Oh, and yeah? It's, it's just an electronics uh, warehouse, pretty much, but you can buy all your computer components. and. Oh, and okay. You just walk through there and pick a motherboard, pick a CPU, pick RAM, pick a hard drive, pick a SSD case. See, that's what I would like to do. That's, and, well, that's basically what I thought I did with the other one, but and and you certainly can, but then you also have to assemble it. Oh, okay. Which I think I could do that. I think you can. <laughs> I think I can. I mean, I've never done it. I, I've changed out RAM before. <laughs> yeah, no, that's easy. Yeah, yeah, that's easy. <laughs> I don't. No, I don't trust myself, Groom. All right. Well, knowing me, you know, I just said I'm cursed when it comes to electronics. I'm just better off not. Not even going there. So, oh. so, so you may want to buy a, a ready-made machine. Oh shit! Hang on. Hang on. What the hell? I don't know. Ah, I, just, I hear a woman. That. I hear a woman talking. Oh my god! <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I hate that. When you click on something and it fucking starts, starts the playing. video. Yeah. Yeah, I hate uh, that too. <laughs> anyway, sorry. That's no problem. Um. So, yeah, I, I mean, knowing me, I'm probably better off. I'll check out Fry's. I'll check out Newegg. I'll check Dell. Yeah, but do, do you have Fry's there in, in town? That's the question. No, we do not, no. I've, I've never I've never mail-ordered. I've never heard of Fry's, actually, before. I've, not, I've never mail-ordered from Fry's, but... Uh, oh, okay. They're like, oh, okay, never mind then. Newegg's yeah, you walk in there, and it's, okay. it's a, think of it as a Home Depot for electronics. Oh, okay. That would be cool. Yeah, no, it's fucking great. And we don't have those here. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it. Yeah. So what else is new, Graham? Anything? Oh, I don't know. Well, last week uh, my uh, my heater broke. Oh, yeah, you said that. You mentioned that. All right. Yeah, so uh, I, I had to get out there. And get, I thought I was going to have to buy a new uh, thermostat thing or the, or the receiver board. Or maybe it could have even been the main board. But right. it, but it was just corroded connections inside the box. Oh, okay, cool. But getting inside the box was a problem because of those freaking uh, uh, Chinese elms had grown up around it. <laughs> oh God, dang! Really outside? Yeah, yeah. So, so your water heater's outside? Not my water heater. My oh, heater, my, my, send, my central HVAC system. Oh, your HVAC. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Um, Damn it, Graham. I told you to don't let them things like yeah, get well, there and grow. They're all gone now, so no worries. Okay, um, good. But, but there's still some stomps and such. And right, there was, yes. And, and there was still some stomps around, around the unit. And I had to get them all the way down because the panel that comes off yeah. lifts slightly out from the bottom and then down. 
Oh, but, there, crap. But, but, but there was no way to do that. You, I couldn't disconnect it. Or I couldn't, you know, because those things that were in there. So it was a lot right, of yeah. chopping and hacking and such. Oh, and gosh. So I finally got it off, and I got in there, and I was able to reconnect it. Uh, or, cool. you know, or make it work again by, by, by reseating the, the connectors and cleaning the connectors. Sweet. However, Good job, Grim. How, however, however, during that time, when I was doing that, I must have strained a muscle in my back. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Those Chinese elves will do that to you. And, and I, you know, first, at first I thought, oh, no, I pulled a muscle or something. But no, it must have just been a strain because only a couple of days. And Oh, good. good so good. that, that yeah. was better. That was better. All right, good. Because, yeah. yeah, but them Chinese elves, man, they're a bitch to get out. Oh, they? they grow huge and really fast. They they do, and they're, <laughs> yeah, they're tenacious, dude. Yeah, you cannot... So. Anyway, I got all those cleared out everywhere, everywhere oh, from her, all around. Did you around cut the, the, cut them off at like the roots and shit? I dug some up. I still got some more to dig up, but good. But, yeah, good. But just, yeah, dig them fuckers up, and they're just stumps yeah, in the ground at this point. They are nasty. They're they will like like when we first had them really bad. They were going all around the foundation. You don't want that. That'll fuck up your foundation big time. It'll, yeah, it was, it was going after my my brick wall. Oh, I bet it was. They like they like being right next to like concrete or brick. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, there was some in the middle of the yard too, so whatever. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just keep an eye on them. You can get them under control if you just watch for them and cut them down as soon as you see them. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Absolutely. Anyway, so um, it's spring now. We're we're in spring. It's spring here too, believe it or not. Well, then we still have like three to four feet of uh, snow ice. I call it snow cone (laughs) ice snow. Anyway, so it's spring everywhere. Yes. <laughs> whether whether it feels like it or not. <laughs> right. So, um, anyway, I'm planning on doing a vegetable garden this year. Oh, cool. And, uh, awesome. Yeah, it's the first time that I'm going to do one. And, uh, okay. So I got a email from these uh, people, uh, Sun Joe, Snow Joe. Uh-huh. You, you may have heard of them. They make electric... Uh, Yard implements mostly. Oh, okay. Yep. What is yeah. it called? Snow Joe. Snow Joe or Sun Joe. They they have both. They have both names. Oh no, I have not heard of them actually. Okay. Well, I think I linked a, a, a snowblower that they made to you one time. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Anyway, cool. So they sent me an email this morning, and they have this. Uh, it's a cultivator. It's it's like a mini um, rototiller. Yeah. 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 Okay. And uh, and it was like half price. Off so fifty. Oh sweet. Fifty five dollars. Wow. Yeah. Because I was I, I already was checking with the uh, hardware store up the road here to, to rent one you know a regular rototiller. All right. Uh, to to take care of you know to loosen all that stuff up and to be able to plant stuff but uh, fifty five bucks I got my own man. That's awesome, Graham. <laughs> That's the way to go. So that that'll be here next week and I'll be able to get out there anyway. Oh yeah, and let me let me do this because since um, I'm talking about this now. And, oh, uh, shit. We, we, oh and, shit! What? What? Oh, nothing. Just keep going. I just saw a headline that I didn't like. Where did that go? I know I marked it. Oh, here it is. Okay. Old Farmer's Almanac. You're familiar with them, right? Yes, of course. Okay. Um, and, I, I uh, somebody sent me a link. Uh, uh, actually, it was mm-hmm. Chris, Christine sent me the link um, to, to this uh, site where you can go here. And, and you and you can um, you can download all of these various guides um, from the old farmer's almanac. Oh, nice! Yeah, and so they have uh, vegetable garden kitchen charts when power goes out. Uh, anyway, they kind of, you, you download them as PDFs, and um, and and it's uh, it's uh, here. Here's the link here for you for that. Whoa, it's quite. The oh, link. sweet! Yeah, so um, you just go there and download. Anyway, if you if you go into the vegetable garden one there. Um, on that on that particular link, then you can go to a site that that's linked inside of that PDF uh, for the uh, planting dates. And oh, pro- okay, for and pro- all parts and, of the country. And, yeah, well, it just gives you a thing. You put a zip code in. So I, oh, I put, okay. So I put my zip code in. Ba-dunk, oh, cool. And it, and it brings up Moriarty. Oh, planting calendar. Like if you click the gardening, the drop down thing comes down. You can click planting calendar. Garden planner, garden test yeah, by yeah. month. So, so there it is. So you just go cool. in there and you look, and it tells you, okay, start these seeds inside, start a transplant, right, right. Plant, transplant on this date, or start these other seeds outside. 
So you got, you know, whatever, beans, broccoli, stuff like that, cantaloupe, which I will be growing. Um, anyway, it lists all kinds of various different ones there for you from that. And you can download all those guides for free. Um, Did and, you see that you can get a free gardening guide? What now? A free gardening guide. What are you talking about? A little pop-up came up and said, get your free guide. Oh, that's what, that's what I just linked in there. Right, uh, that, right. That's that first really stupid long link from my email. Yeah, <laughs> I clicked on that, and then this thing popped up, get your free guide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, um, yeah, you can download your gardening guide that shows, shows you how to do it. And, uh, yep, yep. And then, and then it, within, that, within that PDF, there's a, a link to, to bring up this other thing. Uh, here that that shows you what dates to plant on and and, and things like that. So um, okay, yeah. Anyway, nice. cool. It's all free stuff there. Um, Good information. Yeah, man. If if you uh, might want, yeah, right. Moon schedule or the uh, what was the other schedule? They got, they got different ones. Uh, yeah, moon or or frost sun. date, frost dates or, or moon schedule. Right, uh, right. So, frost um, date and moon schedule. Yeah. So uh, anyway. You know, even if you're just going to grow a couple things, you might want to take a look in there and check that they out. They even have, like, astronomy and stuff on there. Oh, yeah. Weather yeah. stuff, astronomy. Right. Farmer's Almanac, so they got all kinds yeah. of cool stuff. Yeah. Recipes, baking, canning, cooking yeah. news, home Fun. and health. What? Home and health. Oh. They have zodiac profiles, seasonal advice, almanac humor, contests. Looks kind of cool. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's, it's just free stuff, free information, and right, and uh, good stuff. So yeah, um, so I got plenty of time. You know, that 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 thing will be here next week, so I can go out there and get all that dirt ready to go. And I'm not gonna. I'm I'm. Uh, I, I don't know where all I'm gonna plant. I do know I'm gonna plant cantaloupes because I saved a bunch of seeds. And yeah. Toma and tomatoes because I saved a bunch of seeds. Cool. Bell peppers because I saved a bunch of seeds. <laughs> and what, there you else, go. what else do I got out there? I, the, just various uh, fruits or vegetables that I that I'd saved seeds from. Plus, and you're gonna start those inside, right? Not necessarily. No. Oh, okay. Um, it, well, I, I, it, I might. I don't know. Anyway, so um, and if I do like on cantaloupe, it says you don't even start the seeds in, until April twentieth, basically. And you don't plant them until the end of May, or you don't transplant them to the end of May. Oh wow! Okay. So, yeah. Oh, cool. And that's because of, that's because of the weather here. Um, but uh, right for, for other and things, we have different our plant our our planting season is a little bit behind yours. Right, but for for other things, there are things that you have to do in March. Um, right. And 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 so you know I have to get those done or or in or in April, but uh, yeah, because we have late frost dates here. Um, yeah, so do we, for sure. Yeah, but Rome said you don't want to plant during a new moon. Plant closer to the full moon. Okay. okay. Four twenty fruit. Cantaloupe. What does that mean? I, I don't know. He's oh, four twenty. Cantaloupe is somehow four twenty fruit. I, I don't understand. But. Okay, like mangoes enhance your high. I've heard. If you're eating oh. mangoes and consuming cannabis. Okay. Anyway, I and I, and I do have a this big old can of various seeds that whoop I bought. Ass. Can, cans of whoop ass. No, cans, <laughs> <laughs> cans of various seeds that like I bought a seed vault from a heirloom company some years oh, ago. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, and I've never used them, so um, maybe I'll look in there and see what else I, I want to do. Uh, they don't nice. list, they they don't list uh, the, the date for strawberries on here, and I know I want to grow those. It's well, yeah, I think you got to plant them, and like they, those grow really fast, but yeah. they usually mature in like June. Those are one of the earlier wait, ones, wait. I think. Not cantaloupe. He's saying cantaloupe poop. I don't know what that oh, is. Oh, whatever that is. I, who knows what that is? I don't, I don't know. know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, you know, you, you could you could you could cantaloupe. Plant. <laughs> you, could, you, 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 could plan, you could plan a few things too, and you know, we can uh, check it out. Yeah, that would be cool. I mean, I've been wanting to try to get a garden going, in, but you know, I tried it about five, six years ago, but it did not work out. Yeah, well, this is a new year, and and you're gonna have new tires and a new computer, so you might as well. 
I might as well. Yeah, I might as well, for sure. So, yeah, cool. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad everything's working here now, so that's good. Well, yeah, me too. Yeah. All time, right? All right, right. So let's play some more music. All right, let's do that. And uh, and we'll be back on the opposite side of this. This uh, first song I'm going to play, it's because of your opening bit when you when I, we actually connected to you. Awesome. Cool. And and, and to me, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, it just you know, in honor and, of me, and okay. and, and, and also for Donna because she mentioned it. So, okay, uh, yeah. All right. So uh, so yeah. Nice. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. All right, here we go. Steve right. Earl. Steve Earl. Well, you know what? I really actually don't. God dang. God damn, you can sing. I gotta go to bed. Mm -hmm. I think we all can agree we can all die now. Everybody goes, thank you, Sam Moore, ladies and gentlemen. Keep it going for Sam Moore. We're a legend. God damn, you can sing. <laughs> Got a legend like Sam from Sam and Dave there telling John, Joe Bonamassa, uh, boy, how impressed he is by by the band singing. Anyway, that's uh, Crossfire live with Sam Moore, Joe Bonamassa, Reese Wines, Winans, and uh, some other folks, of course. Uh, anyway, before that, a special uh, request for the Moose Girl there, Summertime with Billy Strings and Marcus King. And we kicked it off with Steve Earle, uh, live in a uh, the District of Columbia, by the way, singing "Fuck the FCC." Or oh, that was in D.C., huh? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah so I uh, love that. Man. <laughs> Thanks for that, Billy and Marcus. Those guys are both super talented. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if you knew. Super talented. If uh, I don't know if you knew, but I, I had already requested that for you. Oh, I, I thought I did. <laughs> well, you you may have requested it again, but I I, right. I, I initially requested it. <laughs> no, but it. I I did see that when I saw you that you were playing it. I'm like, fuck yeah. Yeah. Well, I put it in the in the uh, anyway, whatever. Um, <laughs> oh, I thought I did. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. It's a good one. You might have posted it, linked it to me, maybe. Uh, right. Maybe yeah. that was it. Whatever, it's all possible. Yeah, doesn't don't matter. matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> no, still a good tune. Yeah. Excellent version of that song. Oh yeah, man, yes. you know it's a great song by uh, all the versions. Well, all the good versions I've heard have been good. <laughs> Did you get the green one, Graham, or the red one, or the blue one? Blue, blue. The chiller. Ooh, the blue one. Ooh, yeah. The electric blue chiller. Yeah, you know, I, I didn't even look at colors before I ordered it. That's awesome. That's, that's, the, one, that's the one I came up with. And, and, uh, so, right. Yeah. doesn't really matter. It's just that was... <laughs> it'll, it'll be dirt colored soon enough. So. Exactly, right. Uh, yeah. Pretty cool looking uh, thing, though. Yeah, no, I think it'll work great. Oh, uh, yeah, for I, sure. I, I haven't used a rototiller in years, and... and uh, so uh, I, the last last time I used one was back when I was doing a garden way back in eighty two or something. Wow, um, that's a long time ago. Dude. Anyway, so I, I rented this rototiller and I was going through the yard there and <laughs> tilling it, and it was like muddy out there. Right. And, and and so I the thing was getting like the blades were like filling up with some mud and stuff like that. Oh yeah, sure. So I so I stopped it and I go in there and I start cleaning out the blades, but what I didn't realize is one of the blades must have hit a rock or something and it got like a spur oh, sticking a yeah. spur sticking out of it. I made a gash on the side of my hand that Oh, oh crap. Deep, deep cut. Oh <laughs> it was, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it was it was not it was not real fun. It just I did have to have stitches on that one. Yeah, I believe yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> How many? Yeah, I, I don't. I don't recall. All that. A lot, probably. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, oh, gee. So anyway, so this yeah. one, I'll, I, I know better. I, I'll be careful. <laughs> yes, you know better. Yeah, you're not supposed like they say with snow, like our snowblower has like rub, hard rubber blades, so right. you're really not going to get your hand or finger chopped off. 
But if you get one of those, if we get one of those errands that's metal blades, right? You get snow in there. You're supposed to use a stick or something in there to clean out the snow. You never put your hand in there because no, don't put your hand it, in there. It'll rotate if it's stuck in the middle of rotation. As soon as you loosen that, whatever's stuck, making it stick, then blades are gonna keep going. And so oh that's... well, certainly you don't want it running when you do that. <laughs> yeah. No, that would be bad. You there? Did I lose you? Did you mute? Hello, hello? Oh, oh shit. Sorry. <laughs> if No, I'm saying that the thing that's making it stick, if it's mid-rotation, as soon as you... If you got your hand in there and you're unclogging that blade, that blade's going to go before you can get your hand out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to have that thing on. No, no. No, no, it's not on even. If When it's in mid-rotation... Uh huh. And something's stuck in there. Even if the thing's off, as soon as you take that obstruction out, then blades are gonna go because they're in mid rotation. So they're right. gonna. You know what I mean? Even sure. if it's not running. Okay. And that's what people don't think about. Like, oh, oh yeah, it's stuck, so it stopped it from turning. Well, it's yeah. in mid rotation, so as soon as that obstruction's out of there, it's going to continue on its rotation. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Well, this rototiller was was definitely off. Yeah. I would never never would have put my hands or the spinning blades that thing. Um. Well, no, not in, <laughs> not when it's running, Grim. You're you're not understanding me. Like you turn it off. No, I understand that you got some oh, like okay. Uh, okay. back back pressure or whatever. Yeah, the back pressure or built up yeah, built the, up in that thing. So exactly. Yeah. Yep. So. Because people don't think about that. Obviously, you don't put your hands in there when the thing's running. <laughs> no. I mean, there's there's warning signs. It's like, really, do you have to have a warning label for that? Yeah. Gee, I think I'll put my hand in there. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. You shouldn't own the machine if you're that stupid, dude. I mean, I absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And like people like that are driving distracted and don't fucking pay attention really fucking bug me mm -hmm. it's like you are driving a vehicle you need to do pay you, the most attention you should be paying right now is on your driving and where you're going and what you're doing absolutely it's like people are like la 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 you know <laughs> it's like come on pay attention yeah but anyway I found this tonight okay the northern lights are supposed to be very visible this weekend um, okay. from Washington to New York. Really? So the northern half of the country. That, that's pretty far down, yeah. Yeah, the northern half of the country so could you be see them. witnessing northern lights this weekend. You, so you should see them. I should, yep. They, someone Sweet. else posted a link of, from a Wisconsin or from uh, – I posted in the chat earlier – it was a map, actually, that showed Wisconsin and Minnesota and all oh, the northern part of the state. So right. it's like basically the top ha top northern part of the country that is uh, could possibly see some really cool northern lights this weekend. That would be great. Yes, it would. Yeah, that'd be fun. So uh, you just go out there at night and... And, check and them out. view the northern lights, it, especially if you're in the country, away from a city, they'll be more visible. Right, right. That's cool. Yeah. But today was the first day that I actually went outside without my winter jacket on in like five, six months. Well, well Romans can see them in, in, in Ohio, no, too. These are good things. These are, you know, these are things that make Wisconsinites happy. When you finally can are able to walk outside without freezing your friggin' toolies off, Oh, so there was a massive solar flare on Wednesday, it says. Oh, really? Okay. Like, uh, it's been yeah. kind of a weird week. We've been getting a lot of weird calls, like, at work. Like, it always happens around the full moon. Yeah. And, like, this guy today, I seriously was on the phone with him for half an hour, and he did not purchase one fucking thing. <laughs> he's just, like, he's this old-timer, right? And yeah. I think he's lonely because he does – I've talked to him before. This isn't the first time I've talked to him. And I've only worked there like three months, right? And and, and did you answer the, the phone? Fucking, 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 fucking. <laughs> no, I did not answer it that way. <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> anyway, he just, he just calls the BS about all these different kinds of boots. And he's talking to – 
he's just going on and on and on. And finally, I'm like realizing it's been like 25 minutes. I've been on the phone with this guy, right? He's not going to make a purchase, right? Right. So I'm just like, okay, well, you just keep looking on our website and give us a call back when you decide what kind of boots you want to purchase. You know, I was really nice about it, you know. Yeah. He's like, oh, okay, okay. Thank you for your time. Blah, blah, blah. And he's just old timer. He's a lonely guy, you can tell, because he's just calling up to hear, to like, have a conversation with somebody, I think. Yeah, probably. So he's not actually going to purchase any fucking boots. <laughs> 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 he's just. <laughs> God. Anyway, you get those kinds sometimes. And sure, sure. Kind of, it was dead today, so I had time to be on the phone with him that long. I'm like, fuck it. I'll just sit here and bullshit with this guy for 25 minutes. I don't care. I don't have nothing else to do. Because <laughs> the phone wasn't ringing off the hook at that time, you know what I mean? Right, right. So it was really like dead in there right now. It's like you get those people sometimes, you know. And then I had people, okay, twice now people have both said they like my accent. Uh-huh. Today I said to this, and he was this guy was in Ohio, right? Oh, what? where are you guys located? I'm like in Wisconsin. I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, I, I love your accent. I'm thinking, like, I go, I don't even know I have an accent, dude. <laughs> 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 oh well, you do. I like it. <laughs> just like whatever, buddy. <laughs> I just started laughing. He was laughing. It's pretty funny. <laughs> do I have an accent, Grim? Absolutely. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. Yeah, yeah. No, I get these people calling from Texas and Alabama. And shit. They, they have, have accents. They have different accents than you. Right. Your okay, your different. accent right. is very right. very thick. Um. Uh, youper, almost. You know. I am not. Uh, no. I, I know I you're. Don't say you're uh, you're no, not, I don't you're, talk you're like not, Uber that much. Not you're, not, that you're much. not a Uber, but you have that. You're, you're almost. I can talk like one if I wanted to. More. You're, you're, <laughs> oh, you're, yeah, you're, I could, Mom. You're, you're like from the, that movie. The Jamaican. The, you know, the, the, the North Dakota and Fargo woman. Yeah. But yeah. not as bad as Fargo. Well, not as bad as the movie Fargo. You're pretty close. I could be <laughs> worse. I could talk more slangy, twangy. Midwestern if I wanted to. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> okay, so you know that there was a, a bunch of flooding going on this week, right? Of course, yes. And it, and it wiped out a lot of stuff. A lot of people... Like Nebraska. Were, a, lot Nebraska. Of, a, lot, a lot of people were having a bad time. But speaking, yes. speaking of Nebraska, these, these two guys had a good time. These two guys had a good day. What did they do? <laughs> Nebraska residents find beer-filled fridge... Washed up in a field after flooding. Oh, sweet. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, two men in Nebraska stumbled upon a gift sent from the heavens amid the tragedy <laughs> and destruction caused by the recent flooding in the Midwest. Okay, okay it was not sent from the heavens, okay? Oh, yeah, it was sent yeah. from someone's fucking home. Oh, yeah. Someone's uh, kitchen. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a mini fridge. It's a mini fridge. Could have been from anywhere. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyway, so... Uh, uh, Galen Stouffer and Kyle Simpson were surveying the damage to Simpson's property uh, near Schuyler, I don't know, S-H-U-Y-L-E-R, Schuyler, oh, on Sunday <laughs> where, when Stouffer spotted a mini fridge full of beer in the field that had recently been covered by flood water. Hey, that's a fridge, Stouffer said, according to Simpson, before marching over and confirming it was full of beer. Score! <laughs> Uh, ground score. That's like the ultimate ground score. Well, it was until you read this next line. Uh oh. Okay. And not only was Stouffer telling the truth, as the mini fridge was stocked with Bud Light and Bush Light. Ooh. <laughs> but, Ew. It's, but it's I'd be free. like, no, that's okay. But we it's free. But it's free. <laughs> but and still, it, yeah. And it was also ice cold. <laughs> Bonus. Better yet. Uh, nice. Yeah. So that no, that's great. Yeah. So you know, maybe his property was destroyed, but at least he got some free beer. Right. Yeah. You, you know. know hey, I, there you go. A little bit of a bonus, but it did not right, come right. from heaven. Whoever wrote that article, really, dude, it did not Post. come from fucking heaven. Uh, it says New York Post originally published by Faux News, Faux Snooze. <laughs> <laughs> It came from someone's dorm room or someone's fucking cabin or something. Or, or their garage. Not come from you know, 
Well, a lot of guys keep a little mini fridge in the garage to keep it full right. of beer. Right, it came from someone. You know, it's yeah, like, I don't know. Oh some, God, thank you, God. Somebody, really? Somebody's oh, workshop. Oh, light and bush light. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, fucking think so. That did not come from fucking heaven. You didn't. Think, right. You didn't expect right. blue moon in there, did you? <laughs> right. <laughs> or some spotted cow. That would, if, you know, spotted cow beer in Nebraska would have been something. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Well, that got, would have been because they're not. They they can't sell it outside of the state. <laughs> they do have plenty of cows out there, though. Yeah, they do. They, oh, yeah. That they do. <laughs> so. Probably more than Wisconsin. Oh. Oh. Like the guy. No, oh, but the guy that he he goes. I pick up the phone. He's like, where are you located, Wisconsin? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm thinking to myself, how do you know? <laughs> Why did you think that? <laughs> I got, I got to show you this vid, then I'll tell you the story. Okay, yeah, okay. It's a, it's a, it's a 32 second vid. You know? <laughs> so anyway, let me get it here. Right. Do, 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 YouTube. <laughs> okay, check it out. It'll be on the screen in a second. All right. Okay. Okay, you see that critter? Yes. That it looks is... like a scorpion kind of mixed with a wasp or something. Yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like a wasp slash praying mantis slash scorpion. Yep, and it is called a scorpion fly. Wow, that and, looks nasty as shit. Yeah, it does. But but according to the article here, um, let me scroll back to the top because I had to go to the bottom for this. Scorpion. I wouldn't like seeing that in my house. But, I, I'm sorry. I just don't okay, want none right. of them fucking scorpion flies in my freaking house. No, thank you. Scorpion flies are real, and they're fascinating. It says here, okay. scorpion, fly, scorpion flies look exactly as the name suggests, a scorpion with wings. And they are absolutely haunting. No one will ever be pleased to come across one of these chaps no. with large mandibles and a terrifying stinger. However, believe it or not, they are, in fact, harmless to humans. Okay, well, that's good. This, despite their scary looks and evil demeanor, they are basically just large flies. That said, they are considered to be some of the scariest and most bizarre creatures to ever walk the earth. And uh, here's everything else you need to know about them. Um, while the name suggests a cross between a scorpion and a fly, uh, part of both, they are neither. Uh, they are clearly aren't related to actual flies very much. They, just look at them. In uh, regards to the scorpions, while they do right. resemble them somewhat, scorpions are, in fact, arachnids and are more closely right. related to spiders than insects. Uh, scorpions belong. Scorpion flies belong to a group of insects known as Mecopetra, something like that. Mecoptera, okay. uh, in an order that also includes hanging flies. Therefore, neither a scorpion nor a fly. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll let you read the rest. But I just found it really interesting um, that they they came across this. But apparently, they thought these these were extinct. Um, that at uh, Hmm. A handful of specimens were collected back in 1972. At one point, they were believed to be extinct. However, a 2010 photograph has proved otherwise. So, uh, yeah, creepy, creepy critters. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm, yeah. Sure, I'm sure if you saw one, you'd you definitely have to do a double take. Benoit! Uh, you'd have to do a double take. Uh, Benoit on, uh, is here. Yeah, Benoit is here. So, uh, okay, so I just found this, this meme. Survival right. tip. If you get lost in the woods, start talking about politics and someone will show up to argue with you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's probably true. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I like that one. <laughs> I like it. I thought it was cute. So anyway, if you, if you come across a scorpion fly, and it doesn't say here exactly where you find them at. It won't kill you. It's, it's, it's yeah. harmless to humans, right? It might yeah, freak yeah. you the fuck out, but you'll you'll be like, oh, that looks like a scorpion with with, with wings. A flying freaking scorpion. How, how creepy right. ass would that be? Yeah. Yeah, that would be creepy. <laughs> but they're not as big as a scorpion. So no way in hell is a scorpion. Because scorpions don't have wings, all right? 
No, scorpions no, do they, not have wings. No, they do not. So and they're aren't arachnids. You, and aren't you happy for that? <laughs> yes, I am very happy that scorpions don't have wings. I think it's a very good thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we have spiders. enough shit with wings that's going to again... Yeah, can you imagine... Fuck with you already. We don't yeah. need... Mosquitoes have wings. Can you, those Japanese beetles have wings. Can you imagine flying spiders? No, I can't. No, <laughs> ew, no. But they, I mean, I I saw the Wizard of Oz when I was very young. Like, yeah. You know the original. Right. And them flying monkeys. I sir, I had fucking nightmares, dude, with them goddamn things for a while. <laughs> you know. And I thought the uh, Wicked Witch of the West was gonna like, come back. The, the flying monkeys were. Like, oh, she melted, but. Is she, is she really gone? The, the flying monkeys were my favorite characters. Well, I'm sure they were. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're like seven years older than me, so you probably saw it, you know. Well, I don't know. I don't know what that, than me. It's an old movie, so I'm sure I saw it at a young age. Oh, probably. Yeah, but, it is a very old movie. But, but you older know, than both of us, for sure. So uh, it came out way before both of us were around. But you know what? But, yeah, but, you probably did see it at, you know, like four or five, probably. I was I was a twisted young man, so... Yeah, I bet. You know, it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but they them flying monkeys freaked me out, dude. Like I remember that that part of it, like freaking me out. But then yeah. I remember, and I but I do remember the, the cowardly lion being my favorite character for the longest time. <laughs> really, I felt bad for him. Yeah, because oh. they made him cry and stuff. And they made him feel bad. You know? Uh, okay, well, no. And then, but then, but my favorite character turns out to be Scarecrow. I love Scarecrow. Okay. <laughs> anyway, whatever. doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's a freaky movie, though. You got them munchkins. Oh, yeah. Mm. You got the fucking golden slipper, or the ruby slippers. You got the fucking angel, or angel witch. You oh, know? No. You got the bad witch. <laughs> Glenda the Good Witch. Glenda. Glinda. Yeah. G L I N D A. I don't know how you spell it. Yeah, Glinda. Glinda the Good Witch. All right. So, um, how much is the most you would pay for a pair of sneakers? Mm, Fifty. Okay. That's the most I would pay. That's like the high end. I, I, I think. I think. <laughs> I think these sneakers are are for people like Hans. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure. But here they are. <laughs> From the mind unleashed dot com. Gucci is selling scuffed up, filthy looking sneakers for nine hundred dollars to hipster assholes. What the fuck ever? I need people that nine hundred dollars to hipster assholes. I yeah, I just don't even get me started on this shit because these the stuff that these rich fucks make, or that these people make that rich people pay for it. It's like why even make such a product, you useless fuck? Yeah, you can make it, and you're but you're a fucking fashion designer with a fucking shit ton of fucking money. <laughs> you're making this ridiculous shit, and then let me guess, you're going to some fucking save the rainforest fucking fundraiser. Probably at the same time. That you're making this ridiculous fucking materialistic shit, you <laughs> fucking hypocrite. You know, you know I'm just razzing you, don't you, there, Hansel? Anyway, <laughs> it says for you fucking hypocrite. For for sneak, for, for sneakerheads, the idea is ridiculous. Why okay, would, for why? one thing, if you're a sneakerhead, you're a total fucking <laughs> douche. All right, if you're a so-called sneakerhead. You're a well, fucking douche. Well, whatever. All right? Anyway, yeah, let me... Let me, let me, let me, let me <laughs> it says, why would anyone in their right minds buy tennis shoes that are pre-scuffed Thank and, you. and covered in actual filth? Thank you. But for the luxury brand Gucci, the, expecta oh my God. the expectation is that gullible fashionistas with plenty of money to burn will fork over anywhere from 900 to $1,250 for scuzzy sneakers... Fucking which, kidding me. Which look like something you'd find in a mall or like in a second hand. I, I think you'd find these in a dumpster So not somewhere. only are they fucking rich, they're fucking dumb as shit. They're, they are as Yay. the as Good the article. combination. Rich and stupid. They okay, are, great. They are, they are, as the article says, 
hipster assholes. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's what they fucking are. Hipster fucking asshole dickheads, douches, fucking people that you would not like to be around. Freaking dill holes. <laughs> oh my god, you would hate these people. You would fucking despise. You would want to fucking throw up. They're disgusting. <laughs> They're like it's worse says, than the fucking wait, 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 goddamn wait. homeless person you might encounter on the street. Wait, They're wait, worse wait. than that. <laughs> wait, it says here, if you're a woman who loves to display your uniqueness through and originality through conspicuous yet conspicuous yet crusty consumption, mm -hmm. you can Sorry. treat you can treat yourself to strawberry print low tops for nine hundred and eighty dollars or or what? or squander twelve hundred and fifty dollars that are equipped for with dangling removable okay, cherries with crystals. Did you say nine hundred dollars? Nine hundred eighty dollars to fucking what? Up to twelve, up to twelve hundred and fifty dollars uh, oh for these sneakers that are equipped with dangling removable cherries with crystals that further Holy pushes shit. the pushes the notion uh, of bringing contrasting elements together in new ways. <laughs> anyway, they got some various. You, pictures. You, got, you, he's you. got he's got he's got some various pictures here of these. I don't want to see them. I, the, I just really don't. It's yeah, not well, then, then don't then don't click the link. I'm uh, not going to. But, but, I yeah. just don't even want to fucking know. I heard them talking about it on the radio station the other day, and they were all disgusted by it. All <laughs> the radio not DJs on that station at that time were totally disgusted. They're like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" Seriously, they were like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" Dog poop shoes. Yeah, that's about yeah. right, Rome's. Yeah, let's pay fucking nine hundred fucking dollars for uh, fucking dog poop shoes. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Isn't it? All right, let's play some more music. <laughs> what? Let's play some more music. Okay, well, I think so. Yeah, I think it's a good time to do that. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh man, I just, it's just a, it's just a fucked up world. That's all. Yeah, you know, people, people just—I I don't even—I don't even get it, really. What people? Yeah, do. I don't—I don't know, man. Uh, some people's <laughs> mentality is just like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" I know. All right, here you yep. go. Yep. Already. A, another song by Joe Nemeth. <laughs> J.D. Simo, with a little help from my friends, that was uh, recorded on uh, December 14th, 2018, at the Mercy Lounge in Nashville, Tennessee. Before that, we had Carolyn Wonderland covering Alice Cooper's Only Women Bleed, and wow, what an excellent performance. And we kicked it off with John Nemeth there doing S-T-O-N-E-D, or uh, Stoned. If you will. <laughs> oh, such good music, such good music. So uh, anyway, I, I I enjoy all that stuff, of course. And, and why wouldn't I? Uh, Moose Girl, are you there? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Moose, Moose, Moose. Hang on, Grimnir. Hang on, Sloopy. Sloopy, hang on. <laughs> Oh man! All right. <laughs> Hello. Oh, that, that, now, now I hear you. Now I hear you. All right, hell, I'm back. No, I wasn't rolling a doobie. I can't roll for shit. That's why I use pipes. Oh. Anyway, um, <laughs> sorry, Graham. I was doing the change of the, you know, from headset, from speaker to headset. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. So sorry, it was a delay there. That's all right. I'm back now. And welcome back. Okay, so let me see what I had bookmarked. I have something bookmarked. I don't know if it's relevant. Oh, yeah. There was this one that <laughs> pissed me off totally. And it was on CNN, so, you know, yeah, there's that. But, and I've known this for a while. Actually, the first show I ever did, the first broadcast I ever did on air, as a live show ever, 
well, okay. like 16 years ago or something like that. I right. don't know. Maybe right. it's like 14 years ago. Um, I talked about the plastic island, the plastic island that's floating around in the fucking ocean, right? Right. And because it was an environmental, environmental thing. You know what I mean? Right. And this is why I do not like plastic. This, this, this video is going to play here, but right. uh, I'll just link it and then click yeah, it over. You, you know, you I can, don't want uh, to you, There'll be like a little speaker what? icon up on up on the tab, and you can just click that and it'll mute it. A speaker icon. Up on the tab, where, where wherever you load a tab and, and it starts yeah. playing audio, a little speaker icon shows up up there. And if you click oh, that little speaker, speaker icon, icon. It, it'll mute that tab. Oh, Oh, see, I can just it played. See. Yeah, but do you have a speaker icon on the tab? No, I don't see it. Oh. Oh yeah, I do. All right. I see it. Okay, just click that middle mute. Oh sweet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh cool. Yeah. Oh nice. Okay, that's quicker than trying to hit pause or whatever. Right. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, you gotta. You know, my machine. If it was a better machine, it would would have showed up quicker probably, but. Yeah. Um, but anyway, the first show I did was on this plastic island that's floating around in the fucking ocean. And see, the problem I have with plastic is it's not biodegrade. It takes like a hundred years for it to fucking decompose and biodegrade, right? Biodegrade. Yep. And so it's around forever, and all it does is break into little particles and little pieces that get smaller and smaller and smaller. Right. Right. And so some of the filters can filter it out in the water systems and everything. You know what I mean? Sure. But it, you're still ingesting it, you know. And the problem we're having is the oceans, all the creatures in the oceans are ingesting it as well. And when I say ingesting it, they're ingesting straws, like whole straws and whole solo cups or whole, you know, whatever. Right. You know, laundry right. detergent fucking containers. Sure. You know, a whale. All, all, think about a whale. Of, okay. They have things. some of them whales have huge fucking mouths. They can fucking, you know what I mean? Okay. Here, here's here's the detergent here. containers could go into them. You know. So anyway, this whale was found um, containing ninety pounds of plastic in inside of it. Yeah. Ninety pounds. Here, here it says. Uh, different yeah, but even so, sir, you know, the technology, plastic's been around since, like, the late like the 60s, late 50s, where right. it really became prevalent in our society. Anyway, Moose, and, here, Moose here, here it says, uh, different kinds of plastics can degrade at different times, but the aver true. average time for a plastic bottle to degrade is at least 450 years. See? It, that to me is unacceptable. It, it can take some. It doesn't, it's not going to go away. It can take. It can take. It can take some bottles a thousand years to biodegrade. See, right. That's what I'm saying. This is my point. So it says. Okay. So I was wrong on the date as well. It says why commercial production did not be, begin until the 1940s. So we're talking the late 1940s, probably. Plastic wasn't reported in the ocean until the 1960s when annual plastic production had reached 50 million metric tons. I mean, we're killing our... Plastic is good for a lot of things, but it's been overused. You know, I remember when I was a kid, there wasn't as much plastic around as there is now. Right. Stuff was, you know, there was more... The, our grocery bags were all paper. We didn't have no fucking plastic grocery bags when I was a kid. No, it was all paper, yeah. It was all paper. We didn't have, I mean, we had less plastic. We didn't have any, like, water bottle, you know, plastic bottles, like, like you know, water bottles and shit like that. Right. Everything was in glass. Well, now th think about it. Think pop about it. Pop bottles. Were, pop was in glass wait, wait, wait. bottles. Th th think about this. Think about this in the 1970s. Okay. Walking into a store and buying a bottle of water the size of a bottle of soda at the same price as the soda. Exactly. It never would have yeah, happened. Nobody exactly. was buying nobody was buying that freaking water. I mean you had, no. you, had, you had certain people buying Perrier 
Or right, but that was that was in like the eight, late late seventies, early eighties when yeah. that shit came and, around. And, but that came in a glass bottle. Right, exactly. When it and, was and then, up, and then when they when they started coming out with the bottled water, it was cheap. It yep. was like twenty five yep. cents or something. And that, and now it's you know like a buck, a buck and a half for a it's stupid ridiculous. bottle of water. Right. And then most and of it's not even good water. It's not even good water. No, yeah. and that plastic's no good for you. And they 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 market it like it's this really cool water, like this really pure water. And, the, and those oh, bottles are filtered water. It is not like some special water. It's just plain fucking tap water that's been filtered, like you have in your home systems, your home filtering systems. And those bottles, so those, yeah. those bottles are lined with BPA. BPA, exactly, which is deadly <laughs> which to humans, which, which, to which, other living creatures. Well, it, it turns boys into girls. That's what that shit does. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Just it, lovely. It, yeah. That's what we need for our future. A, yeah. Okay. Let's do that. It's like an that. estrogen enhancer. Right. Well, that's why I never bought, like, their dad, the kid's dad, always d bought whatever milk, right? No, right. I always made sure I bought the most expensive milk that is, supposedly didn't have those growth hormones in there. I did right. not want my kids to have moobs. You know what I mean? I didn't. <laughs> well, and you I didn't remember want back my then. boys to have moobs. They, Sorry. They, they, that they, wasn't they, happening. You know, you had the milk guy. He'd bring milk around to your house. It was in glass bottles. Yeah, it was. It was in glass bottles, and it was pretty much... Uh, even even the, the even like went out at four a.m. and milked the cows. Even you like know, if I mean, it, it was fresh, it was like the day a day old milk. Even like if if you got you know sparklets or Arrowhead back then, it came in glass bottles. These it big did. five yeah. five yeah, gallon. I, I miss glass bottles, man. Five, five gallon glass bottles. Um, exactly. And now they're all plastic. You know what? Think about this though. So I I got a I used to have a membership at Sam's Club or even Walmart has it. Um, Mexican Coke. Yeah. Guess how Mexican Coke is packaged? In glass bottles. Exactly. Yeah. So they didn't fucking succumb to this plastic addiction. You know uh, what I'm saying? Right. No, absolutely not. And it tastes better. The Mexican Coke tastes fucking better because it's in a fucking glass bottle. Right. I mean, you can get some Coke in a glass bottle that's bottled in the U.S., but it's really super exorbitantly expensive. It's like ten dollars for a six pack of like eight ounce bottles. It's like you gotta be fucking kidding me, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's ridiculous. We don't. It's, oh, sorry, I was just coughing. It's ridiculous. Right. And so, it, just we've done the whole like reverse to me. We've we've got in reverse. Plastic is great for a lot of things, but it's been overused too much. And now we have an issue with it. It's a pollutant. It's a pollutant now. Right. And it, all it, it, it you just said it. It takes, what, 450 years to biodegrade or a 1,000. Okay, so that you know what that tells me? We're not getting rid of it. All it's doing is breaking down, so we're all ingesting plastic daily because it's been breaking down for so many, so many generations now that every time you drink some water, you're getting a little bit of plastic in that water, no matter what you do. Right. Because it's broken down so, so minute now. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. So, the thing that you can do, like Beetle, you know, he's talking about radiation a lot. And we've been having a lot of flooding going on down here. And so a nuclear plant was had flood water around it. Right. So the radiation levels have been really high in that area. Well, you don't think that's affecting me? It's affecting me, too, because I'm so close to it, right? Right. So what you can do is what you, you, know, what you have to do is you have to be your own physician, basically. You have to be your own fucking doctor. Okay? Right. You have to take care of yourself. You have to balance your pH. You have to make sure you're fucking, you know, doing things to combat this fucking shit that you're being subjected to every fucking day that is no good for you. Right. You have to do it for yourself. Fuck everybody else. Okay? Right. Take care of your fucking self the way, the best way that you can. Sure. You know, and that means eating right, um, 
it's, it's you know, drinking enough water. Even you know, make sure the best thing you can do is get a filter that filters out fluoride. Right. Absolutely. That's the best thing you can do is get a filter that filters out fluoride for your drinking water. Okay, that's one thing you can do. There's just so many other things you can do. Don't use deodorant that has aluminum in it. Um, just, just don't use deodorant. Well, yeah, I mean, I do, but I use non-aluminum deodorant. Yeah, or you, it's not it's not antiperspirant. It's just deodorant. You could just use some and baking. Then, just use some what? baking soda. No, you can use baking soda. Is like a miracle drug. And so is a miracle, not even a drug. Baking soda is a miracle substance. So is vinegar. Yeah, well, you don't want to use vinegar as a as a deodorant. <laughs> no, not as a deodorant, but for, I use it in my laundry. Yeah. I use it for cleaning. Sure, I sure. Mean, vinegar is so, you know, so beneficial, and even apple cider vinegar. Yeah. Too. It's good to have a, have a tea, teaspoon or to a tablespoon of that every fucking day. It, I got, I, you better use it than me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, even like you, Grim, you make your own toothpaste. Don't yeah. use toothpaste that has fluoride in it. No. You know, if you got a bad tooth, for instance, yeah. You know, you need to get it fucking pulled if it's infected, because right. eventually, in anything that you have infected in your body, can spread throughout your fucking body. Oh sure. So if you have an infection or something, you're not taking proper care of it, and you have some unhealed wound, that's eventually gonna the infection's going to grow and it's going to affect your brain even. Right. You know, a sinus infection. An untreated sinus infection can seep into your fucking brain. And, you know what I mean? Right. And having a brain infection is not the route you want to go, dude. Not generally. You don't want to have no fucking infection <laughs> because that leads to sepsis. And it's, if it's in your brain, the sepsis is... You're, you're fucked, basically. You're in, it's, you know, you're, you're in dire fucking straits there. Yeah. If you're in sepsis, you're, like, close to death. Yeah. Oh, well, look at it. And you do the, not want that. So Circle's posting a thing for some organic, safe, natural, mineral, salt, deodorant. There you go. Crystal deodorant. There is biodegradable plastics now, sir, but you know what? This is a new thing. It's a new technology. You know, you know, I was at a festival one time where they used um, biodegraded little plastic silverware. But this is a new thing in the last 10 years. You right. know, it's a little bit late. I mean, it's a good thing. Don't get me wrong. But yeah. it's not going to erase the damage that's been done leading up to this point. You know what I'm saying? Sure, sure. The best, the only, the best thing is, is there is awareness of it. Yeah. You know, um, that's the best thing, I guess. Right. But I, I mean, and they, there are people that have invented things like uh -oh. to clean up the ocean or use a filter looks like the to stream. filter some of that plastic out of the ocean. Looks you know like what the, I mean? looks, looks like the stream dropped. Oh shoot! At least the video stream anyway. Let's see if the audio Crap. is still going here. Audio, audio stream still going. Video stream. Okay, is, so we're going there. We're going good on the audio then. But the video stream right, is still trying to come back on. I have seen the crystal deodorants before. I've actually, I have, I've actually, I have one of them. The crystals work pretty good. I've used crystal deodorant before. Yep, I just do not buy the the, the over the the uh, commercial deodorant. Anything that has aluminum in it, it's not good. You stop this stream. No good for you. You know, make... people are all like, "What, really?" Like you tell people so sometimes you tell people these things, and they're like, "Oh, really? I didn't know that." Oh, really? And you tell them about aspartame. I was telling somebody about aspartame. And they had no idea about it. And, I mean, shit, the fucking aspartame knowledge has been out there for, what, 30 years, at least. It's not longer. Oh, the stream is cutting out. Yeah, so no, it's... Uh, hopefully you guys are hearing what I'm saying, but... Well, the, the audio stream is still up. It should, the audio oh, okay, stream should good. be fine. All right. I assume. Uh, I'm not listening to it, so I can't really tell you, but... No, that's fine. All right, let me try to connect this again, see if it comes back on. I mean, it's like, how can you not know these things? Like, people are, it's true, people are fucking gullible. They've been so gullible for so long, and they've trusted, like, what, CNN, what, what they see on the news or what they hear from these politicians' mouths. It's like, they really don't want to think for themselves. They want to leave it up to other people. It's like, hello? Yeah. You want to leave it up to other people? 
Do you want other people to tell you what the fuck to do and what to fucking think? Are you kidding me? I mean, come on, people. You have a brain. It's there for a reason. It's not there to just fucking sit stagnant. Use the goddamn thing. It's there for the, the reason. It's there to be used. Your brain is there to be used more than 15%, which is what they say most people only use 15% of their fucking brain capacity. Right. It's like, that's that's pathetic. That's fucking pathetic if you're only using 15% of your fucking brain capacity. I mean, oh. what are you doing? Why do you want to just, are you are you okay with that? You're okay with using only 15% of your fucking brain capacity? I mean, come on. You're missing out on 85% of brain capacity there, buddy. Yeah. It looks like there's oh. a problem. It looks like there's a problem with Vaughn. Oh, okay. Darn it. I, I don't know. Um, but we're still on the audio, so. Okay, well. Um, yeah, it says but... Real Liberty Media is off air. Yeah, and, and it's not connecting, Darn and I, I got a message. Fuck. Wait, wait, wait looks like it might, might be connecting now. Okay. Hang on, hang on. All right, cool. Hang on, it's still loading, oh. it's still loading. All right, still loading. Come on, baby, you can do it. Yeah. You can do it. It. Okay, I'm just getting. So it's just like I don't get it. It's like, why would you want to just fucking comply or just accept it? I I don't get it like, either. No, no, you, you you're you're more you're more capable than you think you are. All of us. Right. All of us are. And the biggest thing I do is I'm like, I'm making my own my own decisions. I'm not going to fucking believe it when they say aspartame is okay for me. Or I'm glad to hear that. Or these vaccines and I'm doing my family a favor to get a vaccine. If I don't get a vaccine, I'm doing a disservice to my family? Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, do you know no. what's in them fucking vaccines? Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! I ain't, fucking get, I ain't getting myself shot up with that shit, toxic shit, and I ain't getting my kids shot up, shot up with that toxic fucking shit. All right. Well, that's so how, tell me. Shove it out your, shove it in your pie hole. Why don't you get the shot first? Let me see you get the shot first, and Absolutely. then maybe I'll think about it. But I probably still won't get it. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> anyway, no. on, on, on a slightly different topic, we're talking about brains and things yep. like that. Tell me if this sounds familiar to you. Because, you know, these guys could have just asked me rather than going through <laughs> some big study to figure this out. <laughs> okay. From LiveScience.com, scientists find evidence that your brain can sense Earth's magnetic field. Yeah, it can. I well, believe that. And, and to me, well, I I absolutely. And you didn't need a scientist to tell you that, though, did you, Grim? No, I did not. I've oh. been experiencing <laughs> this for decades. I've known that for a long time, <laughs> decades as well. Yeah, right. I'm, so as anyway, it says for some creatures, the magnetic field that hugs our planet serves as a some. compass, <laughs> as a compass for navigation and orientation. Migratory birds, sea turtles, and certain types of bacteria are counted among the species with this built-in navigation system. But what about humans? According Lumans. to a... Humans, yes. <laughs> <laughs> According to a new study, which was a waste of money and time, humans exactly. can also sense Earth's magnetic field. No shit. Anyway, no the, shit, Sherlock. The, the, the new study, published March 18th in the journal E-Neuro, provides the first direct evidence to them anyway, from brain scans that humans right. can do so, likely through magnetic particles scattered around the brain. Um, no, it's the it's the magnetic field scattered around the Earth. It's not even scattered. It's, it's exactly. all Duh. over the Earth. So, uh, anyway, so the ability to, to detect the magnetic field called magno, magneto reception... Yeah. Magneto reception. Yeah. Is that a Mexican word, Magneto? No, I, I got me some Magneto reception. Uh, <laughs> was first suggested to exist in the humans back in the 80s. Well, I knew about it then. I didn't know the word that you're using. 
Right. Obviously. But you knew about it. <laughs> but you could feel it. Yeah, but subsequent studies of the brain from the 90s didn't find evidence of the ability. Well, who are they testing? I, I, I don't know. Themselves? Rednecks, maybe? I, I, people. The fucks? The, the, status? They were testing. They use their fucking brain. They were, they were, they were testing statists, I they guess. They were testing people that only use 5%. Maybe. <laughs> as opposed people, to 15. People, people that are. People that are that are that are stuck in the in the in the state paradigm. That's who exactly. they that's who they were checking. Um, right. Because it certainly. I, I mean, there's. I'm not the only one that could feel this. If their agenda was working or not. So, uh, and then it talks about manipulating the magnetic field and how the brain well, responds. Of they've been trying to fuck at that forever. Ancient navigation, things like that. And and everybody has this ability to one degree or another. I don't call it ability, but um, right, right. No, it, it's not an ability. It's just a, a knowing, a sense of it. You, you feel it. Yeah, yeah. And, and if you're open to it, you're you're in exactly. Even, and for me, it wasn't even being open to it. It was just it just there. It was just whatever, man. Anyway, <laughs> let's play some music here. All right, let's do that, and we will return. We shall return. Hopefully. 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 Well, we were. We will. Yeah, we will. Okay. We will. <laughs> All right. Very nice there. That was Trampled by Turtles and a Victory. Before that, we had... Blues Traveler and Ruthie Foster singing D uh, Bob Marley's uh, No Woman, uh, No Cry. And we kicked it off with uh, a Reason uh, re release there. Remy doing Aflu, aflu Inflammation uh, cover, uh, the color, Californication by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. So, uh, yeah, great stuff, man. All right. <laughs> oh, boy, I tell you. So many, so many great songs, you know. Just, uh, it's kind of amazing. Moose Girl, you there? Moosey. All right, I don't know where Moosey is. Um, but she's out there somewhere. I guarantee you that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. Um, I, I came across this story today, and I was like, "Seriously, you need to, you really needed to pass a law for this," but apparently they did, or they felt they did. So here it is: Texas House passes bill to legalize kid-run lemonade stands. They had to pass a bill to let kids run lemonade stands. Freaking ridiculous. But that's the way it goes. Children operating lemonade stands will no longer be breaking the law. Children operating lemonade stands will no longer be breaking the law. <laughs> I, I wrap my head around that. Uh, if, if, it's not a done deal yet, but if a new piece of Texas legislation passes, the Texas House nearly unanimously passed uh, House Bill H. Uh, 224, uh, sponsored by Texas Rep. Matt Krause, blah, 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 on Wednesday to legalize lemonade <laughs> and other non-alcoholic beverage stands run by children. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, so uh, yesterday was one small step for lemonade. Today is one giant leap for young entrepreneurs, Krause said on Wednesday after its final passage. The Texas food establishment had previously banned lemonade stands because of health concerns. Now, people, kids have been running lemonade stands since, I don't know, forever. Uh, maybe, maybe longer than forever. But uh, it's crazy to think that they have to actually pass a freaking bill to make lemonade legal. <laughs> it's just, it's freaking nuts. You there, Moose? 
I hear some. I hear some sounds. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. Thank you. Oh my gosh. So, so this is. This oh, is, okay. This, this, this is just insanity. This whole thing. Yes, I was listening. I could hear you. I, I, I mean, what? What the hell? What the hell? Yeah, it's. <laughs> it really, it, it, there's no, there shouldn't even be a need for such a thing. No, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's this is how insane it is, people. I mean, if you guys subscribe to this shit, my only thing to tell you is it's gonna drive you fucking insane. Absolutely. So you're better off not subscribing. Uh, yeah, I'm right. Yeah. Pot. I'm not gonna fuck. Weed is beneficial. Okay, so. I was listening to a radio show the other day. Hang on a second. I'm just All right. Just okay. Phones. Okay. Anyway, I was listening to a radio show the other day. Oh, I can't watch the court. I can't really Hang on. Okay, hello. Okay. I was listening to a radio station the other day, and they were talking about medical marijuana, because now it's, it's, it's in Minnesota now. All right? Right. And they had people, the the actual DJ on the radio station is now doing the THC oil. Okay. And he said he slept like a baby for the first time since he was 19. Right. And it's totally wiped, wiped out his pain, and he doesn't have to be on opioids anymore. Well, then some guy calls in and said... It, because they were saying how 50, 50 mg would like make them so stoned or whatever, right? You know, and so they they go well. If anybody's ever done more than fifty mg at one time, call right. us, call call us, right? Call in. So some guy calls in. He's like, "Yeah, hey Tom, whatever, you know." He's like, "Yeah, the first time I started getting, I, I was prescribed it. I did a hundred <laughs> to five hundred. <laughs> or something like that. He's like, I was so stoned. <laughs> but then, like, he goes, but no, but all kidding aside, like, he totally was able to get off opioids altogether, right? Right. And he said one of his neighbors had a, a cancerous brain tumor. And so he, like, had her try it. And then yeah. she got on it, too. And she is in remission from her cancerous brain tumor. Great. From being on this THC oil, Excellent. so it is beneficial. No, you don't want to get stoned out of your gourd. Like, yes, you can if you do too much, right? But you also don't have to do that much. You do what's prescribed to you. Sure. You sure. know, I mean, my mom even one time she fucking floored me. She's like, "Oh, I got the CBD oil." I'm like, "What?" <laughs> like, my mother has CBD oil. Yeah. Well, hey, uh, I'm like, oh, what I have the a. I, I, I have a, I, I, like <laughs> how have time, times have changed, you know. But I mean, when she first found out about me smoking weed, right? She didn't think she didn't like it. She thought I was going to be some loser drug addict. You know what I mean? Sure, sure. She even, like gave me pamphlets about it. You know, I'm right. just like <laughs> really. And now she's like, oh yeah, I got CBD oil. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's crazy, right? Right. It's a good thing, but it's like, oh, my God. This is how, see, my mom was a nurse, and she was brainwashed, see? Mm -hmm. They brainwash people about weed, you know, back okay. in the day. Well, let, let me tell you this. Yeah, okay. you, your mom's buying it, and now everybody's buying it because CVS starts selling CBD-infused products in eight states. But you can't blame it. That's not the, no. It's not CVS's. You don't give them the credit. No, no, no. But but I'm just saying that everybody's out there buying right. it. But so it's, it's like but just once, what you're saying it's on the mainstream market. Well, well, yeah, once it's a, a, in CVS, it's I mean that's a that's a big store. That's a right. You know, it's a big store. It's nationwide. Right, and and, and right. all all of your you know normal uh, inside the box thinkers. I'll, I'll, right. I'll go to CVS to They're get like, the, Oh, it's okay now. To get the <laughs> flu shots or whatever. Anyway, yeah. it, says, it says here, Alabama, California, Colorado, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Maryland, and Tennessee will, right. now, will now offer CBD products as part of the distribution deal 
with a Canadian marijuana company. Clerk. See, Walmart wants to keep up with the times, you know. Well, the, no, this is, I know yeah. so I can uh, get like three different kinds of um, aluminum free deodorant there. Yeah, well, like I said, this this is you CVS. Um, not, I can get Renoir not Walmart, or Ren Pure um, hair products there that are very good because they have none of that sulfates in there or anything. So that I've switched over to Ren Pure brand for shampoo. I swear to God, it's awesome, dude. Right. It's uh, there's none of that fucking waxy shit. It's none of that crappy stuff. And mm. I just love it. And I have I'm using this coconut um shampoo and coconut conditioner. Cool. And I have this coconut spray that I use on my hair. So like not so it's not frizzy or whatever. Like I don't have bad frizz, but but that shit it's a bomb, dude. It works so good. Cool. Like I no, I do not dye my hair yet. The boys are all, Oh, you dye your hair, Mom. I'm like, No, I do not yet. <laughs> not dye, no. I do not dye my hair. Well fuck you. Anyway, so, like shit, so if, if you if you thought the lemonade bill was kind of nuts that they have to pass a bill so kids can run a lemonade stand, or the mm. fact that CBD is still illegal in many places, check out, stupid, but check, yeah. check out this news new law they're working on. Oh, wonderful! No, I hate laws. Why are they working on new ones? Why do they keep making these new ones? We don't <laughs> need any more. My God! <laughs> Just tell me what you think. Lawmakers push. Sperm bill requiring oh. older older men to call the cops when they ejaculate. No, no, what? <laughs> okay, all right. You know what? This is out of control. <laughs> this is the what? This is ridiculous. Yeah, no, this is not a, what? Oh yeah, my yeah, god! Yeah, you yeah, gotta be fucking uh, kidding me. Lo, this lo, can't be a real. This is the onion, right, Chris? No, no, it's not. No, it's not. This is a, okay, a it's parody. Real. It's real. Wait, it's real. It's not a parody. No. no. Lo, what law, state? Lo, law, it's federal thing or what state? The is state. It? Well, here, listen. Lawmakers in the state of Georgia have introduced a new bill that takes pro-life logic one step further and aims oh to god. ensure that any time men who are fifty-five or older ejaculate. They would be bound by law to immediately report themselves to law enforcement. Why? Why? No. Okay. This is re what? No. I'm uh, okay. <laughs> no, listen. I'm gonna do for a second. Listen, listen. I, I, do, I, 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 yeah. Okay. The the new bill, House Bill 604, is succinct and cuts straight to the point. Any male 55 years of age or older shall immediately report to the county sheriff or local law enforcement agency. When such male releases sperm from his testicles, HB 604 co-sponsor uh, Rep Park Cannon. Why do they care? What business is it out of theirs? This is ridiculous. This, this, <laughs> these people are insane. You guys see this now? These fucking people are insane. <laughs> All right, I don't, I don't have time to go on with it. Oh my god! I, I just found it. What? <laughs> what? All right, we, we, we okay. Can, Keep trusting government, people. Yeah. 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 So I, I'm going to call them every time I whack off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Right. Yeah. How are they going to regulate that? Oh, yeah. I just whacked off. You don't want to know. You don't want to know how they're going to regulate that. No, you don't want to know. Yeah. All right. Then. <laughs> it's crazy. All right. We got to. Fucking <laughs> these people are psycho. Psycho. All right. Well, we, we got we to gotta, we gotta do this here before we. Was that capital P? Yes, right. yes, yes. So uh, anyway, yeah. we got we got to do this here. We'll be right back. All right, we will. All right. See ya. <laughs> the Lost Fingers covering Black Betty there for you to uh, close out the show for us. Uh, just a terrific version of Black Betty. And the folks here in the chat surely seem to enjoy that uh, version there of uh, Black Betty. Uh, that's going to wrap it up for us, though. We uh, we had a good time here. We had some technical issues a few yes, times. Yes, we did, off unfortunately. To a, off to a rough start and then a little dropouts in the middle, but Hey, we made it through. We and, did. You know, and, 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 I'll get a new system soon. 
Yeah, so, we'll, no, we'll, I'll be good again, and we'll, we'll be rolling again. Yeah, we'll, better, we'll be, we'll better be back, than ever. We'll be back <laughs> next week with uh, another Freaker's Ball for y'all. And uh, tomorrow you got the dark table with Flash and maybe a guest or two. We don't know. Uh, right. But, but he had no, a couple, he, I mean, I'll, well, no, I won't be around. I'll be getting tires tomorrow. I got a big day tomorrow. I got to get yeah. tired. Well, well, well he, had, he, had, he had a couple of co-hostages last week, and we'll see. Yeah. Okay, uh, good. I'll be good. I'll be on Sunday at my normal time, noon Eastern, with the blues right. and the trivia right here on RLM Radio. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Hal Anthony in the afternoon, of course, at 3 p.m. Eastern, behind the woodshed, opening up that can of whoop-ass. And uh, I'll be on Monday yeah. night, Monday night at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern with Grim Leftovers. And uh, just check the schedule. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's there on Real Liberty Media. You can all look at it. So check to check that out for y'all. And um, I guess that, you got right. anything else? You got anything else? No, it's you know it's springtime, people. It's Enjoy. Spring. You know, That's it's right. Like, it's finally we're free of this. Well, I live in Wisconsin, so it's been like totally brutal for me. So, so yeah. like this warm weather is gonna. It just it feels amazing. <laughs> like I said, I wore my. I didn't have to wear my jacket outside for the first time in like five months. Right now you can all it's go not out there. Really good. <laughs> you, you, you can all go out and frolic in the sun. Yeah. So enjoy, everyone. Have an awesome weekend, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Yep. Yeah. Uh, peace. Peace. <laughs>